Febby Bilstein recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. In this video we are looking at a suspension strut top mounting, which is a common suspension wear item that affects several popular light commercial vehicles. During the life of the suspension unit, the damper and spring have to expand and contract millions of times, enduring the stress of all the road surfaces that the vehicle is driven on. This includes unmade and damaged road surfaces, which bring extra stress on this unit. Worn steering and suspension components can cause issues, such as knocking or creaking noises over uneven road surfaces, as well as vague steering and handling and uneven tire wear. With the vehicle raised and the wheel removed, inspect the wheel and tire for any damage and check the tread for signs of uneven wear. Also inspect the wheel bolt threads for damage and replace as necessary. Remove the suspension strut assembly, removing all associated bolts and fixings, supporting any cables and brake pipes from being stretched or damaged. The suspension unit comprises of a damper unit, including a piston protector, road spring including retaining cups and fixings, and a suspension strut mounting. With the strut removed, disassemble the strut assembly and inspect all components. The suspension strut top mounting is a bonded rubber bush, which is mounted to the top of the damper and fixes it to the vehicle's chassis. This is an integral part of the suspension strut assembly. The strut mounting acts as a coupling to the spring and shock absorber, connecting it to the body. The damping force is absorbed separately within the mounting which in turn insulates the vehicle's body from suspension and road noise. If this part becomes worn or damaged, it reduces the suspension unit's operation. As an example, a cutaway sample has been prepared to show the built-in strength of the reinforced Phoebe strut top mounting. The suspension strut is reassembled with the new mounting and bearing in place. This is then fitted to the vehicle. All bolts and fixings are tightened to the manufacturer's torque settings. After replacing any steering or suspension component, it is advisable to check the wheel alignment against the manufacturer's settings and adjust as necessary. Once all parts are fitted, lower the vehicle. Finally, road test the vehicle to check for correct operation of the suspension and steering. 